in the mood for this. Beat it. Scrim, loser. Sana, what happened? What does life look like during your period? It's up to you with Tampax Pearl. Hmm. One thing I have realized, that if God don't do it, it just won't get done. Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way! Give a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? No. It's free. Real estate. We're giving you land. It's free. We're giving you a house. It's real estate. It's free. Mine.
Join? This ain't a decision to be taken lightly. Huh. You're not screwing around. Alright then, you're in. Welcome aboard, new blood. Hey, like I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, man. I need a job. So who the who the hiring mother from here? That's me right here. I'm very sorry, but you can't be here. I have to ask you to leave. Oh, what's up, Pion? What's your name? Y'all ain't hiring up in here? Um, I brought my resume and shit right here, so... I'm disappointed to see you back in my office. You were spotted carrying something very dangerous around school. What were you thinking? I feel nervous with the delinquents at school. I feel like I need to carry a weapon so I can defend myself if they try to attack me. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. I know they can be intimidating, but that's really no excuse to carry around a weapon at school. I feel as though it's my fault for creating an environment where you feel unsafe unless you're carrying a weapon. I'll take responsibility this time, but don't do it again. You're free to leave. I'm very sorry, but you can't be here. I have to ask I'm you I'm very leave. sorry. But for so many years, I thought that there was something wrong with me. That I was the black sheep, and I needed to change my personality. And after a lot of time and consideration, I realized who I was. I'm a piece of shit. This type of conduct will not be tolerated. You're going to the guidance counselor's office right away. I'm not surprised to see you again. You've become a troublesome student. You went somewhere you didn't belong and wouldn't leave when you were asked to. What's the story? Whenever I see the delinquents, I want to run and hide somewhere safe. Even if it means going someplace where I'm not supposed to be. No. Is that really how you feel? I suppose I can't really blame you for feeling that way. How unfortunate. I understand how you feel, but you can't let it become a problem for the faculty. I'll take responsibility for this incident, but don't let it happen again in the future. You're free to leave. I'm not finished yet! I'm not leaving till everybody gets these hands! What in the world happened to you? Have you been fighting with other students? The counselor will deal with this. I'm not surprised to see you again. 
You've become a troublesome student. Would you care to explain why you're covered in blood? So you both do not like right! I mean... The delinquents did this to me. No, that can't be. <sighs> I'll have to take responsibility for this. I haven't told them to stop carrying weapons because I thought they were only doing it for show and weren't actually going to use them. As I've said, I'll take responsibility for this incident, and I'll forbid the delinquents from carrying weapons on school grounds in the future. You're free to leave. Are you lost? Do you have a reason to be here? Put that down! Did you think you could get away with stealing? We'll see what the counselor has to say about this. You're stealing, right to jail. You're playing music too loud, right to jail, right away. You're driving too fast, jail. Slow, jail. You're charging too high prices for uh, sweaters, glasses. You right to jail. You undercook fish, believe it or not, jail. If I can give myself a reputation as a delinquent, the other delinquents might see me as one of their own. And then they won't give me any trouble. That's my plan. Is that really the cause of all this? <sighs> well, I suppose I understand where you're coming from. I almost feel partially responsible. I can see now what the true source of this problem is. I'll take responsibility for it this time, but you mustn't do this again in the future. Understood? You're free to leave. is completely unacceptable. I believe that a trip to the Guidance Counselor is in order. It should be- uh, I'm told that you've- I'm afraid of the delinquents. I'm trying to get a reputation as a dangerous person so that they'll leave me alone. Is that really the reason for what you did today? <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that you feel you have to do this in order to keep yourself safe at school. I think I'm partially to blame for this situation, so I'll let you off the hook. But I can't permit you to do this again in the future. As long as you keep that in mind, you're free to leave. I'm not surprised to see you've been caught aiming your phone at a student's unmentionables. Start talking. I'm intentionally trying to give myself a bad reputation. If the delinquents think I'm a dangerous freak, they might stay away from me. But that's such twisted logic. <sighs> it makes me sad to hear that you feel driven to such extremes. <sighs> I hate to admit this, but in light of everything that's happened, clearly the right course of action is to expel the delinquents. I'm sorry that my stubborn desire to rehabilitate them has caused you so much grief. They won't be troubling you anymore. You're free to go. Mm -hmm.